good morning, good morning. I want to welcome you to your Los Angeles City Council. Uh, today is Tuesday, June 30th. Madam Clerk, we have a quorum. Would you please call the roll? Blumenfeld, Bonnet, Buscaino, Sodio, Englander, Fuentes, Wezar, Cresc, Recording, LaVange, Martinez, O'Farrell, Parks, Price, Wesson. Ten members present, a quorum. Mr. President. First order of business. Approval of the minutes. Kokorian moves, correct. Seconds, next. Commissioner resolutions for approval. Sodio moves, uh, Wezar, seconds, next. Mr. President, today is Tuesday, and I'll be the time for the flag salute. Okay, Mr. LeBons, lead us in your last flag salute. Mr. LeBons, well, thank all you. rise, I, I, all rise I, I, for the flag All rise, salute. when the North Hollywood senior lead officers come up here right now, real quick. Let me just do it. I'm right now, one sec. They're going to lead this. They're going to lead this. I never want to see this happen. The best laid plans, Mr. President. Members, joined by the North Hollywood senior lead officers who serve us so well in these United States of America, place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Justin Go. Item okay, 89, Mr. Uh, Krikorian, and 37 forthwith. Item 89, I, I believe it has been circulated. If, it, if it's been circulated, uh, just it's a technical amendment. Uh, Mr. President, I'd ask for an aye vote. Okay, we'll hold that. Why don't we go to your presentation if you're ready, Mr. Kokorian? That was my mistake. My mistake. Okay. Would you like to do your presentation? If your pleasure. Then you go right ahead. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. It's an honor for me to be joined today by members of the International Criminal Court Alliance as we're coming together today to declare July 17th World Day for International Justice in Los Angeles, as we have uh, year after year here. Um, in 1998, in the aftermath of the Rwandan and Bosnian genocides, the global community came together uh, to try to take some tangible steps to, to finally make real the cry uh, that we've heard so often through the 20th century, never again. The global community decided there had been too many instances of genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and, and other atrocities where there was no formal response from the international community and no mechanism by which to achieve any measure of justice. And because of that, the International Criminal Court was established to help end impunity for the perpetrators of the most serious crimes against humanity. The ICC continues to stand as a beacon of hope for people, downtrodden people throughout the world, when their national governments failed to protect their own citizens. Since its establishment, the ICC has worked to protect civilians from grave crimes and increase their access to justice. The ICC continues to be instrumental in creating a global discussion on justice in the wake of human rights violations in countries around the world where human rights are too often not highly regarded. As we all know, the city of Los Angeles uh, stands as a beacon of hope to many of those people. And we have communities here, large communities of uh, victims and survivors of the Holocaust, survivors uh, and their descendants of the Armenian Genocide, uh, 
large numbers of Cambodian immigrants who went through the atrocities under Pol Pot, and many other communities that have experienced these uh, sorts of atrocities, Sri Lankans, Guatemalans, Africans, Syrians, and so many others who've experienced uh, these kinds uh, of atrocities and have felt that they didn't have an avenue to justice and have come here to find refuge and solace here in the city of Los Angeles. Well, the International Criminal Court finally gives them that measure of justice. And I'm very pleased to be able to uh, be joined here by Sean Butler, the co-chair of the International uh, Criminal Court Alliance, who would like to say a few words about the work of the ICC and, and its alliance. Sean? Thank you very much. Um, please remember three points about the International Criminal Court. Number one, don't let the numbers fool you. Number two, the world still needs the ICC to bring perpetrators of atrocity to justice. Number three, the ICC still needs all of us. I'm gonna go through each one of them in a little bit more detail. Don't let the numbers fool you. The victims are still individuals. The ICC deals with mass atrocities, genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. Those include the use of child soldiers and rape as a policy of conflict. There may be tens of thousands of direct victims and hundreds of thousands of displaced persons, but the impact on each victim remains a tragedy for an individual only multiplied. Those victims are fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, sons, and daughters. They bleed the same color of blood as we do. Don't let the magnitude of the numbers fool you. Don't let the miles away diminish the need. Don't be fooled by the numbers. These are heinous crimes, and the perpetrators should not escape justice. Number two, the world still needs the ICC to bring perpetrators of these atrocities to justice. The crimes continue in the 21st century, and a culture of impunity remains. The ICC acts only if there is no national or other judicial system able and genuinely willing to investigate or prosecute. All situations before the court are for conduct after July of 2002. The United Nations has referred two situations, Libya and Darfur, to the ICC. Sadly, the world still needs the ICC. The ICC needs all of us. The ICC has no police force and relies on cooperation of nations to obtain custody of the accused, to allow access by prosecution investigators, and to provide evidence. It was a known weakness when the treaty was negotiated. Without the cooperation of nations, those accused can evade justice like Omar al-Bashir of Sudan has, even though he's been charged with the crime of genocide for the conduct in Darfur. All nations should be party to the Rome Treaty that created the ICC. The support of Los Angeles is significant. Los Angeles is home to survivors of the situations before the ICC. The ICC needs people everywhere to show support in, for all nations, including the U.S., to become party to the treaty. We're living in times of historic change. The ICC marks a change from impunity to accountability. Your support is shown by continuing to pass these resolutions. Don't let the numbers fool you. The world still needs the ICC, and the ICC needs all of us, and we thank you for your continuing support. If there's anything I can answer your questions, I'd be happy to try. Oh, and I'd like to introduce our, our participants here, Kathy Emanuel, uh, Bart. Wait, wave when he calls your name. <laughs> okay, Kathy Emanuel. Shireen Ershadi, Farzad Hassani, Cyrus Penazar, Bruce Yalowitz, Jim Stanberry, and I'm Sean Butler. Welcome. Thank you very much. Well, welcome. Thank you very much, Sean, and, and to all of you, I want to congratulate you and thank you for the work that you do uh, each and every day for people who um, look to us for a little bit of hope. And um, I'm pl proud to be able to present you with this resolution signed by all the members of the City Council declaring World Day for International Justice in the City of Los Angeles. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Councilman. Appreciate it.
an honor for me to be joined today by members of the International Criminal Court Alliance as we're coming together today to declare July 17th World Day for International Justice in Los Angeles as we have uh, year after year here. Um, in 1998, in the aftermath of the Rwandan and Bosnian genocides, the global community came together uh, to try to take some tangible steps to, to finally make real the cry uh, that we've heard so often through the 20th century, never again. The global community decided there had been too many instances of genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and, and other atrocities where there was no formal response from the international community and no mechanism by which to achieve any measure of justice. And because of that, the International Criminal Court was established to help end impunity for the perpetrators of the most serious crimes against humanity. The ICC continues to stand as a beacon of hope for people, downtrodden people throughout the world, when their national governments fail to protect their own citizens. Since its establishment, the ICC has worked to protect civilians from grave crimes and increase their access to justice. The ICC continues to be instrumental in creating a global discussion on justice in the wake of human rights violations in countries around the world where human rights are too often not highly regarded. As we all know, the city of Los Angeles uh, stands as a beacon of hope to many of those people. And we have communities here, large communities of uh, victims and survivors of the Holocaust, survivors of, and their descendants of the Armenian Genocide, uh, large numbers of Cambodian immigrants who went through the atrocities under Pol Pot, and many other communities that have experienced these uh, sorts of atrocities, Sri Lankans, Guatemalans, Africans, Syrians, and so many others who experienced uh, these kinds of, of atrocities and have felt that they didn't have an avenue to justice and have come here to find refuge and solace here in the city of Los Angeles. Well, the International Criminal Court finally gives them that measure of justice, and I'm very pleased to be able to uh, be joined here by Sean Butler, the co-chair of the International uh, Criminal Court Alliance, who would like to say a few words about the work of the ICC John, if neither say color of blood as we do, don't let the magnitude of the numbers school you, don't let the vile way that many of the atrocities to justice. The crimes continue in the 21st century, and a culture of impunity remains. The ICC acts only if there is no national or other judicial system able and genuinely to be there. Okay. At one of the law schools here in Southwestern, Thank you very or UCLA. Okay. Um, are, are you, if you're interested, I'll check. Sure. If you check we'll with Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. she's my schedule. Yeah. She'll, she'll okay. Work it out. Yeah, we can work on your schedule. All right. I'm going to be Boni, Darboni, Yeki, as Yarton and Dikoni. NGO I am that I am working on as Dargoni. دادگاهی است که صلاحیت رسیدگی به جرائم علیه انسانیت جرائم جنگی و جرائم نحسی کشی رو داره و همینطور تعرض و تجاوز به سایر سرزمین ها و این دادگاه در لاهه واقع شده دادگاهی است کیفری و دادگاهی است مستقل که از سال 2002 به وجود اومده و البته نسبت به جرائمی صلاحیت رسیدگی داره که بعد از سال جولای 2002 اتفاق افتاده میشه.